guys welcome back to my channel my name is barbie and i have a family of six and i'm going to be sharing with you what i got for the upcoming week for groceries um today has been a day I, last night i put in my order for walmart grocery pickup and i set it up for nine o'clock because i wanted to get the day going early i had like four stores to go to so i said i'm gonna put it in for early that way i can get up early i can go get my groceries and be done around noon with everything that i needed to do so i got up slept in a little bit slept until like eight in the morning got up got ready and usually it's always done early i always get a text message or an email before the time that is supposed to be picked up um and nine o'clock rolled around and nothing i didn't get anything 9 15 nothing so i'm like oh my goodness it's gonna be one of those where they forgot or something so i started to go out to another store i went to sprouts to pick up just a couple things and I decided to check my email because I'm like, this is not like them. Maybe I did something wrong. So I go in. Sure enough, I picked the wrong day. Um, I picked tomorrow, Monday, instead of today, Sunday. So I'm like, well, that's not going to work because I'll be at work at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So thank God I was able to change the time and the day. But now my groceries are not going to be done until 2 o'clock this afternoon. And the only Walmart that offers grocery pickup is about 25 minutes away from my house. So I had to change all my plans and I decided to go to the stores around me first and then I'll just go later. It's um, around one o'clock right now. So I'm going to unload everything I got from Costco, Target, Grocery Outlet, Food Max. I never go to Food Max. I don't like that store. But I had to get, I had to buy milk and I couldn't find my milk at Target. They were out of the fat free. And tell me guys, if I'm the only one or if you guys struggle wherever you live with the stores that you can't go to just one store for everything. Seems like here in California, it's like I have to go to multiple stores to get what I need. I can't find one store that carries everything I need. Um, when I lived in Texas, I don't feel like I had that issue. I feel like I would go to the, my either my Walmart or my HEB over there and they had everything I needed. But over here is like, I got to go to like a million stores to get everything I need every week, which takes up at most of one whole day doing groceries. I mean, I love grocery shopping, but sometimes it's just too much. I've, I've already been to Costco, Target, Grocery Outlet. Food Max, four stores already today, and I still have to go to Walmart, and I need to go to Sam's for the same thing. There's some things that I can't find at Costco or any, or the other, or Costco in bulk, so I have to go. So I'm going to show you what I've gotten so far, and then once I pick up Walmart and Sam's, I'm going to show those last um sorry for the long intro i just wanted to update you guys oh one more thing if you're new to my channel our grocery budget is 250 a week um like i mentioned we live in california in northern california um in the bay area and prices here are pretty high on groceries plus we have a family of six where um the youngest one is 11 so we pretty much all you know we all eat like adults so that's why the um, bigger budget so stick around and I'll show you what I got so here's an overview of what I've gotten so far like I said earlier I still have to go to Sam's and pick up my groceries at Walmart they're kind of mixed I tried my best to separate them by stores but I'll just point that out as I go so I will start on this side I don't know totals yet I'll just say the totals at the end because I I don't know the totals yet I just put everything on the counter and now because it's already like 136 so i'll be having to leave soon to get my groceries at walmart but i wanted to get this and put this away before i go so at food max i went in specifically for the milk because i couldn't find the fat free at target so i got two of those and i got some pop chips um I usually mention in every video that we do Weight Watchers. I do Weight Watchers, my husband does, my daughter, and my stepdaughter. They're both 18. 
So pretty much the majority of the family were all on Weight Watchers. So I try to buy snacks that we can all eat on Weight Watchers. And I also buy food that it's not Weight Watcher friendly um, because I, I have an 11 year old and I have a 14 year old also and not everybody is. And on the weekends, we kind of splurge a little bit more. So we have, I buy a variety of everything. So that's, that's why you'll see some foods that I'm very picky about buying either fat free or sugar free and stuff like that. So back to it. I bought these pop chips and if you're on Weight Watchers, you know that these are three points of serving and I've never seen this crazy hot. My daughter opened it as soon as I walked in the door because she loves um, spicy stuff and they're super good. I had a couple to try it and they remind me of hot fries. So these are super good. And I also got the sea salt on flavor. So got that at Food Max. Then here I have uh, the majority of Costco, the Costco haul. I got this Hillshire Farm. It's a three one pound um, resealable pouches and they come in oven roasted turkey breast, honey ham and smoked turkey breast. Um, I usually only buy turkey breast but the price on this was good. It was like $7 in um, some change on sale. And it has oven roasted and smoked turkey. So two flavors. And I don't mind honey ham. I just don't eat ham as often as I do turkey. But I know my husband or some of the other kids will eat it. Or even I will eat it. Um, so that's that. I don't know the points on Weight Watchers. Usually if it's turkey breast and it doesn't have like a lot of sugar see less than one gram of sugar and i look at the ingredients and i know some of these will have points there's only one brand that i've been able to find that's zero points i won't count it because usually i only have one slice when in my sandwiches whenever i eat sandwiches so it's not even enough to count so that's just me though i picked up a rotisserie chicken this is what we're having for dinner tonight um so that and probably salad or i'll just um, make some veggies on the side um, bananas all of these I picked up at Trader Joe's and the bag ones I picked up at Costco yes we go through a ton of bananas a week um, we snack on them we I use them for baking um, I usually bake at least once a week and I bake um, protein muffins for the week and then we just eat through them um, for snacks or I, I take them for my morning snack Sometimes with my protein shake, I have a couple little um, protein muffins um, and I use bananas for them. So oh, sometimes I make pancake bananas. So we do go through a lot of bananas. Last week, we ended with only like four bananas and I usually buy like this much every week. So that's why I get a lot. Picked up another bag of um, cuties or these mandarins at Costco. It's a five pound bag and we will probably go through the whole bag in one week um some cheese sets my son loves cheese sets like other kids also do love them now they're being a little more conscious of what they pick for snacks but um i still buy it because i know that on the weekends they're not as strict with what they eat so uh, and i'm not going to restrict my 11 year old he doesn't need to lose weight he's on the other end of the scale he needs he can use a few more pounds so he loves those and they were on sale at Costco for like five dollars and fifty cents or something like that, so good price. Um, I picked up another box of this Yasso. We still have some from a couple weeks ago when I picked it up at Costco, and today was the last day of the sale. Six ninety nine for a fifteen bar box, so great price. They're delicious. Um, tastes like real ice cream, and they're five points on um, Freestyle Weight Watchers plan. Um, and picked up some canola oil cooking spray because I am um, the one I have is the last one I have in stock and it's less I think it's about to run out so cook with that all the time I picked some of this good foods organic avocado mash um, we love these little things I love them because one little tub is three points and it's it brings a lot it's let's see it's two ounces one little tub is three points and it's just avocado it's only avocado sea salt and black pepper absolutely delicious my daughter loves to put it on toast just like this 
or if we have any type of like Mexican dish going, I'll use it and put that. And you, you know, with the avocados, I was having the problem that they would cut an avocado, not eat the whole thing. And then we would end up throwing away the other half because it would go brown before anybody else ate it. So with these, it's usually like my daughter will open one, she'll eat half and then she'll eat half the next day and it's fine. Or I'll open one and I'll eat half and my husband eats the other half and there's no waste. So got that. Picked up some strawberries. So glad to see strawberries in season now. They're, they're not as expensive as they were. Um, so picked that up last time I last weekend I bought a two pound thing of strawberries and they were literally gone like in a day all the kids ate them so we're definitely going through a lot more fruits than we used to now that everybody's more health conscious about what they're eating and that's good it's okay I don't mind buying a ton of fruit um, picked up one of these. I've never bought these artisan organic romaine lettuces. I thought they were so cute. They're little, so one can easily be for one serving if you want to make yourself a big salad. So pick that up. My husband requested some squash the other day. I usually just cut it up and saute with salt, pepper, onions, and just let them cook like that, and they're delicious. So pick that up. Um, and I think, oh, in Costco, I also got paper towels. We've been out of the Kirkland paper towels for months and I totally miss them. So pick that up. And I think that's all I got at Costco. Now, when I went to Sprouts, I got some beans. I love their bulk foods that they sell there in the, in the big, con you know, the bulk where you just weigh your whatever. And so I got two pounds of black beans. Um, I also went there for um the decaf i drink decaf and i love this decaf vanilla hazelnut so i went and got that i don't drink coffee every day i do on the weekends though and i can only drink coffee i'm highly sensitive to caffeine so i can only do decaf um and this one's really good and then when i ran into target i saw these at the dollar spot they're so cute they're like little candle holders or whatever you want to put I you so i couldn't resist they're only a dollar so i picked up two then i went to trader joe's and i got a box of those soup and oyster crackers i absolutely love those so i got that i got some decaf um, cups the single serve for the keurig um just because sometimes if i will in a rush and i don't want to measure out the that one in the little reusable um, cup that the Keurig brings. I'll just use this. So I got that. I got my facial toner, rose water. I absolutely love this thing and it's only $3.99. You can't go wrong. So I got one of those. I'm almost out of the one I have. I got some low fat cottage cheese. I love Trader Joe's cottage cheese. Um, I got two of these roasted plantain chips. Um, as you can tell from my hauls, I'm not buying as much as I was a few, like a month ago because my husband is not eating these every day anymore. But I still like to have them in the pantry just in case, you know, in the weekend we want something to um, snack on or we use it as a side, you know, if we're eating, I don't know, some, whatever. But so I just picked two of these. Picked up our usual organic yellow corn tortilla chip rounds absolutely love these um pick this up also we all love this rolled corn tortilla chips chili and lime and even though you would say okay you're doing weight watchers but you're buying all that when i eat this i portion it out to only two points two points worth so that is totally doable i think i get like eight of them for two points and that satisfies me i don't need to eat the whole bag um same with these these are i think these are like four points for an ounce which it's a lot of chips it's like it's over 10 chips i think when i weigh it out so absolutely love those um then here this is where it's all mixed at grocery outlet i picked these up the pretzel crisp and the buffalo wing they're only a dollar 99 there so when i see them i always pick them up um grocery outlet is a hitter hit or miss store you know there's been 
few weeks that I've been looking for these and they didn't have them. And today they had a lot. So I picked up two bags and I already opened it and I was eating it in the car. And the pop chips, I always get them at grocery outlet. I was sad to see that they only had one. And I asked somebody if they knew if they were getting more. Because the space is there with the tag and everything. It's just, there was just one there. And she was like, I don't know. And that's how, that's the problem with that store. You don't know if, you know, they're going to keep getting it. But I will go next week and check if they got more. Because they're only $2.99 for a six pack. Everywhere else, they're almost like $6 for a bag. So, and my daughter loves these. I like them too. So, like I said at the beginning of the video. So, that's why I got those bigger bags. Because I was only able to find one of the six packs. Pack. also uh, at grocery outlet i i found this um mason jars they're so cute look at the look at the heart and these are um the 16 ounce jars and i love anything that, like plastic containers tupperwares jars i love all that kind of stuff my daughter always tries to throw them away because she says i have too many but i love them and this was only 3.99 so couldn't pass that I also got this I got at Target. I got some, no, I'm lying. I got it at Sprouts because they were only 98 cents a pound. So I got some grapes. We still have some from last week. So I only got a little bit. This I got from Target, the Casa Sanchez Medium Salsa Roja. I bought this last week also and we're almost out. So I picked up another one. I got some of the Jarlsberg Light and this one I got it at Trader Joe's. They've been out of this cheese. The last um, couple of weeks I've been to Trader Joe's, but I was happy to see it back in stock today. It's absolutely delicious, and it's only one point if, you, if you're doing Weight Watchers, and they're not super thin. The ones I bought last week, uh, my daughter was not a fan. She's like, Mom, they're like paper thin, so you need to buy the Jarlsberg again, so I was happy to see it. Maybe next time when we run out of this and the other ones we have in the fridge, I'll just start buying the big pack at Costco which is like eight dollars and it's like humongous um this meat i bought at sprouts and i picked up two because they only sell them in this little small containers this is not even a pound it's 0. 0.755 and this one is 0. 0.8 so i'll cook both of them um one night so and it's the extra lean beef stew meat so went ahead and picked that up there um and here i got some more trader joe stuff picked up one bell pepper two bags of the light shredded mozzarella cheese the kids have been eating a lot of homemade pizzas with this cheese and my husband also he will make himself uh, a little snack in the afternoon with the joseph's pita bread and, and he makes himself a little personal pizza so we've been flying through this cheese um one bag of organic baby spinach we buy that every week i also got some sugar plum tomatoes my husband asked um asked me the other day to buy some of these little tomatoes just to snack on so i got that and i also got some persian cucumbers i've never bought these before but i've seen other people um haul them and they say great things about them is they're seedless sweet and crunchy so bought that for salads and i got two pounds of the 99 percent fat free um, ground turkey breast for some recipes this week so so far this is everything i've gotten and next you will see walmart and sam's here's an overview of my walmart and sam's haul so i uh, will start with walmart on this side so i got this was a substitution i had gotten the four pound bag and they did not have that side i got a tub of the i can't believe it's not butter light one tub of fat-free sour cream one of these um great greek plain non-fat yogurt um and this is uh we're gonna be making some personal pizzas with the two ingredient dough on friday so that's what i got this for uh, i got two of the clear american orange cream beverages that i love one coffee mate um and the sugar-free italian sweet cream my daughter loves this and she's the one that mostly drinks it. I got two of these um, Great Value Iced Tea with Lemon. These are like the, um, compared to the um, Crystal Light. Um, we all like this. I got one of the sugar-free vanilla instant pudding. And I don't have anything planned for this this week, but I always like to keep this in stock. And I got some cans to replenish my pantry. 
So I got four cans of the black beans, no salt added, four cans of the petite diced tomato, two cans of the healthy request cream of chicken, two cans of the mushroom pieces and stems, two cans of the dark red kidney beans, no salt added, and two cans of the diced green, green chilies for recipes. I have a recipe that calls for that this week. I have one can of the pineapple, the crushed pineapple in 100% pineapple juice, just to replenish the one I used last week, and one jar of the thick and chunky salsa in mild. You guys know I love this. I eat this, I put this on my eggs every morning and absolutely love it, so I always like to keep an extra one in the pantry. Um, I also got two gravy mixes, chicken gravy mix, and this is something new I haven't bought before. I saw this um, slow cookers hearty beef stew seasoning mix and I'm going to be making beef stew one day this week in the slow cooker so figure I'd give this a try. Um, I got two of the Joseph's pita bread and these, this is the pita bread that um, we all love to make the personal pizzas in the air fryer um, and this is only one point for pita bread if you are on Weight Watchers. And I've seen these, but I've never tried these before. And these are the flax, oatmeal, and whole wheat lavash bread. And from Joseph's also. I'm not sure about the points because I've never had them. But I want to say I've seen other channels, other people in other channels talk about them. And I want to say they're two points. So I plan to cut them in half because they're huge. I wouldn't be able to eat one of these by myself. Or we can make a pizza with this and just cut them in half and two people can share or we can i don't know but i bought two of these because it only brings four square breads per pack so i bought two um i also got a box of the square snack bags um, this was another substitution i wanted the old el paso the cheddar um taco shells but they did not have them so they substituted me with this one and this the original one and this one is a bigger size so i went ahead and accepted it um, some Great Value Original Clean Ultimate Fresh Dryer Sheets. Um, these compared to the um, Gain ones, so I really like it. Um, I got some coffee. Uh, this time I went around, uh, went ahead and bought a bigger box. So the 48 count, 100% Arabica Donut Shop coffee in the medium. So got that, won't be needing to buy coffee for a while. Um, I got a bag of the Great Value Sea Salt Veggie Straws and a big thing of everyday paper great value brand and this one is 300 this lasts us for a while it's been over a month i think since i bought papers la i mean paper plates last so went ahead and grabbed that because we're running super low and a couple non-food items here from walmart as well i got the suave men um refresh hydrating body wash i got feminine wash um, and I got the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner for men. My son requested me to buy him this. So he says his hair feels super soft when he um, uses the one that's two-in-one. So I went ahead and bought him that. I got this for the girls. Um, it's the Suave Ultra Sleek and Smooth um, shampoo and conditioner. And I also bought a two-pack of um, body wash. So... Um, oh, one more thing, and I got some gloves. This was a substitution also. I didn't ask for these, but these were on, they were out of the ones I asked for, so we'll give these a try and see how I like them. So a little rant about Walmart. I already told you guys today has been one of those days where everything has gone wrong. Um, I pull up to get my order, and they come out, and they tell me that they're out of like four things that I order, and they substituted a bunch of other stuff, like three, four, three things, so... Um, they told me they were out of shampoo. They told me they were out of feminine wash. Um, and they told me they were out of the Joseph's pita bread. So I know that the Joseph's pita bread, they're always out. They, I always put them in my cart and I've only been able to get them once. So today, this was, um, almost the last stop I made. I went to Walmart, then I went to Sam's last. I was already tired, kind of cranky, and then I get there and they don't have this and that and that, so I was a little irritated about it, and I told them, you, I can't believe you tell me that you guys are out of shampoo. You could have offered me a substitution with, for the same brand, just a different scent, but no, they didn't, and this I wanted to go and check for myself and see if they were out, 
and this. I had a hard time believing that they were out of feminine wash at Walmart. So I went down and there you are. I, got, I was able to find a shampoo, the same shampoo I had picked, except the scent was a different scent. Well, I'll give them that much. Maybe this one was for fr frizz and the other one was for the different type of hair. Maybe that. So I won't hold them accountable for that. But this, they had a whole row full of them, exactly the same one I had asked for. And they were there in stock. And these they were there also they were at the bottom of the the shelf so maybe the person who was shopping for my order didn't look very well um he he's super nice very very nice guy but he's very young so maybe i don't know he wasn't looking so that so that's my little rant for walmart i'm gonna continue to use them but if the problems arise i will start having to go in store for certain things now um sam's i went for the premier protein and the cookies and cream i absolutely love this i hope this is not a limited um time flavor because it is delicious so i got that i got another bag of pretzel crisp in the original we all like this i think i'm the one that eats them the most but i absolutely love them and i want to always keep this in stock i don't want to run out so that's why every time i'm like halfway through a bag i buy another one um we got some eggs we were actually yesterday we were out of eggs so i had to pick up um just a dozen to hold us over so got the five dozen eggs i got a bag of this chick southern style chicken bites the kids love these and i know my daughter likes them a lot and i like them too you can um, have up to four bites for four points or you count one for one, two for two, all the way up to four for four. And sometimes I just make a few, three, maybe maybe the four and put them with a salad. Delicious. So um, Baby Bell, this is another item that I was going to sell specifically for because that's the only place they don't sell the big bag at Costco and the light. So got that and some bagels. My son requested bagels. So that is everything I got. I'm gonna go ahead and share the totals. I went over a lot. I went over by $118, which I don't think I've ever spent that much in a week. So let me break it down. So I have a paper here where I'm reading or I can even show you guys. So Sprouts, I spent $20.91. Costco, $85.37. Um, grocery Outlet, $11.33. Target, $6.06. Food Max, $11.96. Trader Joe's, $58.29. Walmart, the pickup was $97.52. And what I went in store for was $21.73. And Sam's, $54.86. For a grand total of $368.03 OMG. Next weekend, I hope I don't spend that much. So I went over by $118.03. So that is the totals for the week. Now I'm gonna share with you my meal plan for the upcoming week. Here is my menu for the upcoming week from today, Sunday, April 7th through Saturday, April 13th. My weeks always start on Sunday and they go through Saturday. Today, I bought that rotisserie chicken at Costco and we might be eating that. Um, I'm not even sure because I picked something up when I went to Walmart and Sam's and I, I don't know if we're going to eat it or not. My husband has been out all day and he had a barbecue with his soccer team. So I'm not sure if we will eat it or not, but that's what we're supposed to be eating tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be making some turkey chili. I know I've made this every week for the last three weeks, but... They keep asking for it, so I'll keep making it. It's an easy meal for me. I put it in the slow cooker. When I come home from work, it's done. Um, and also, Mondays and Wednesdays, I go to the gym after work, after I come home from work. So I try to put make meals that I can throw in my crock pot and not have to worry about cooking when I get home so that since I know that I'm going to be going to the gym on um, those nights. So Monday is um, chili. Tuesday, I'm going to be making beef stew, and we pair that with rice. Delicious. Um, Wednesday, um, chicken enchilada soup. Um, on Thursday, um, I'm going to be making some tacos or taco bowls and refried beans. On Friday, either cheese or veggie pizzas with the two-ingredient dough and a salad. And the, on the side, we'll make some salads. 
Um, it's Friday and we don't eat meat on Fridays during Lent. So that's, that's why it's either going to be cheese or veggie pizzas. And on Saturday, free for all, I do not cook on Saturday. So we'll just either eat leftovers or everybody eats whatever they want. So that is it. And if you're asking yourself, what do I use as a meal planner? It's just a notebook, hardcover notebook. I bought this at Marshall's. Um, I, I like it because it gives me the freedom to write whatever I need and use as much space as I want without having to just fit everything into a little square. Um, last weekend I had it over the counter and they got wet so I could have just torn all these pages out but I didn't want to tear them. They still work even though they're a little crinkly so that's why they're like that but usually you know they look nice and pretty and I'll write my menu on this side and then on the back I will do the list and of course I bought way more things than that but I just went off of my head and not the, a list this weekend. Um, and one thing I forgot to show reading through the menu was the enchilada sauce. I always forget something. I'm notorious for that. So now I have shown everything. Once again, here's an overview of the haul. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. And I will see you guys on my next one. Goodbye.